Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Malware is any type of software program designed to harm or exploit computer systems or device. Malware can take many forms, including viruses, ransomware, spyware, and any types of malicious software. Today, I will talk about five types of malware: virus, worm, Trojan horse, spyware, and ransomware. Computer virus. A computer virus is a type of malware that can replicate itself and spread from one computer to another. Viruses are often attached to emails, file downloads, or other online content. When a user opens an infected file, the virus can be installed on their computer. Once installed, virus can do a variety of things, such as delete files, steal data, or send spam emails. There's many different types of computer viruses, such as bot sector viruses. These viruses infect the bot sector of a hard drive, which is the first sector that is read when a computer boots up. This means the virus will be loaded into memory every time a computer starts up. Bot sector viruses can be very difficult to remove. And they can cause serious damage to a computer system. File viruses. These viruses infect executable files. When a user runs the infected file, the virus will load it into memory and execute it. Macro viruses. These viruses infect files that contain macros, which Are a small programs that can be run within a program such as Microsoft Excel macro. Virus carriers. Viruses cannot automatically spread to another computer; they rely on user action to spread. Viruses are attached to files, and viruses are spread by transferring. Infected files. Biological and computer viruses are very similar. Both must be on the correct host. A virus affecting horses may not affect chicken, for example. A virus affecting Windows system may not affect Mac or Linux system. Both may remain dormant for some time. And both are self-replicating. Both replicate at the expense of the host. Worms. A computer worm is a type of malware that can replicate itself and spread from one computer to another without the need for human interaction. Worms can spread in many ways, including worms can be attached to email messages. When a recipient opens the email, the worm is installed on their computer. Worms can download it from malicious websites or file sharing networks. Worms can spread through network shares. Worms can be stored on USB drives. When a user plugs in infected USB drive into their computer, the worm is installed on their computer. Worms are often to steal data, damage files, or take control of a computer system. Trojan horse. A Trojan horse is a type of malware that is disguised as legitimate file or program. Trojan horses are 
often spread through email attachments, file downloads, or social media. They can also be installed on computer through physical media such as USB drives. When a user opens a file or runs a program, the Trojan horse is installed on their computer. Once installed, Trojan horse can do a variety of things such as steal personal information, damage files or programs, take a control computer, and spread to other computers on the network. Spyware Spyware is a type of malware that spies on your online activities or steal data on your computer. Spyware can be installed on your computer without your knowledge or consent in several ways, such as opening an email attachment from unknown sender, clicking on a malicious link in an email or website, downloading a file from unknown source, installing software from unknown source. Spyware can cause many problems, such as spyware can track your online activity, such as the websites you visit, files you download, and emails you send. Spyware can steal your personal data. Last but not least, ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malicious malware that encrypts the victim files or blocks access to their computer system until a ransom is paid. The ransom demand usually comes with a threat that the files will be permanently deleted or the system will remain inaccessible if the ransom is not paid within specified time. Ransomware is typically distributed through phishing emails, malicious attachments, or compromised websites. Once the malware infects a system, it will encrypt the victim files, making them inaccessible. The victim will then receive a ransom note that explains the situation and it demands payment in exchange for the decryption key that will allow them to regain access to their files or system. The ransom is usually demanded in cryptocurrency like bitcoins, which makes it difficult to trace the perpetrator. However, Paying the ransom does not guarantee the victim will receive the decryption key or that their files will be restored. It is also not recommended, not recommended to pay the ransom as it encourages the attackers to continue their activities. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.